Hi, I'm Steve Perry, and in this video, I'll show you how to create your first Java class using the Eclipse IDE. You'll use the Eclipse IDE to create a package, declare a class, use the JDK logger class, generate code, and create and run a JUnit test case. Let's get started. Start Eclipse and open the Java perspective. Go to Window, Perspective, Open Perspective, Other, and choose Java. Close any projects you have open, like the Hello World project from the previous video. Create a new project called Tutorial. Go to File, New, Java Project. Give the project the name Tutorial and click Next. Uncheck Create Module-Info.Java, then click Finish to create the project. Module-Info.Java is part of the Java module system, and I won't cover that in this video or in the tutorial series. If you want to learn more, be sure to head over to IBM Developer where you can find great resources like this one. A link is in the video description. Now let's create a package. Right click on the source folder and choose New Package. In the new Java Package dialog, give your new package a name, com.jstephenperry.intro. Click Finish to create the package. Package Explorer displays your new package just like you see here. Right click on the package you just created and choose New Class and the New Class dialog appears. Give the class the name Person, then click Finish. The source code for our new Person class displays in the Edit window. One of the reasons I like to use an IDE is that it shows me any errors that I've made so I can fix them quickly. Let me show you what I mean. Suppose you're declaring a property of type string called name, but you accidentally spell the type string incorrectly. Notice that Eclipse complains that it doesn't recognize STRIN, and it even makes some suggestions on how to fix it. That's better. It can be sort of hard to tell what's going on inside of a program running in your computer, so we'll use a logger for that. Let me show you how to add one. First, declare the logger inside the person class. Eclipse doesn't know what to make of the logger declaration, but you can see Eclipse has a few suggestions. Notice there are several classes called logger, but the one you want is from java.util.logging. Eclipse added an import statement to tell the compiler what package the logger you want is in and the logger declaration error goes away. Finish up the rest of the declaration exactly as you see it here. Another cool feature of IDEs like Eclipse is that you can use it to generate code for you automatically. Open the person class and add some attributes. Now right click on Person in Package Explorer and choose Source, Generate Getters and Setters. You see a dialog box that lets you select which getters and setters you want to generate. Go ahead and select them all, then click OK to generate the code. Next, use Eclipse's code generator to add a constructor that lets you specify the person class's attributes. Right click on the person class, choose Source Generate Constructor using Fields. Select all of the fields, and a constructor is generated automatically. The person class is really starting to take shape, so let's test it. I recommend you use a unit testing framework like JUnit to test all your code. Just get in the habit of using it. You'll be glad you did. In Package Explorer, right-click on Person and choose New JUnit Test Case. Eclipse's JUnit Code Generator has reasonable defaults, but take note of two fields. Name. This is the name of your JUnit test class, in this case, Person Test, and class under test. This is the class which is being tested, which is your person class.
Click Next and select which methods you want to test. For now, let's just select the constructor that Eclipse generated for you earlier and click Finish. Eclipse will ask you if you want to add the JUnit5 jar file to the build path. Click OK. Now let's write some code to test the person constructor. First, create a person object using the constructor Eclipse generated. A special method called assert equals is used to verify that the expected value, which is the first argument, matches the actual value, which is the second. Do this for each property on the object. Now, run your JUnit test. Right click the class in Package Explorer and choose Run as JUnit Test. The JUnit tab appears automatically. Expand the Person Test class to see the results. The green check mark next to the test name indicates that it ran successfully. Congratulations! You've created your first class and tested it with JUnit. Be sure to check out the video description for links to everything you saw in this video. I'm Steve Perry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.